G'day Karoo kids. I've got on my bike today and come for a ride uh, and found some floodways. This area is usually dry, I can ride through under the bridge here, usually dry. You can see out there, as you hear a truck go by, you can see how wet it is after a big rain. Now, flood, you might say, what's that got to do with science? But a flood is a natural disaster. A flood changes our environment. There's been quite a lot of rain, so the flood will change the ground surface. Flood can even change the the natural pathway of a river in a flood and can also lead to a lot a loss of life and there's the flood floodway which is normally pretty dry you can see quite a lot of dirty water moving down there pretty fast and it's starting to rain so I've come for a bit of a ride again today and look at the bike path from all that rain quite a lot of water going down there I made another floodway and you can probably hear the noise of the traffic and the noise of the wind water going right across this bike path bike rider just coming past me and you can see the amount of erosion and flood waters that could happen after a big rain like this one. Look at it coming through there from the paddock. Over the grass, flattens the grass. Most of it goes under this culvert, the bike path and flows out the other side which is what these culverts are meant to do flows away there to stormwater but that's not what's meant to happen when you get too much rain that's what does happen Here you can see floodwaters stretching out over these paddocks underneath the power lines it's meant to be floodwaters that's why we don't build houses there but rain making floods is a natural disaster something that we study in science sometimes